Some of the challenges with teachers facing STEM is that sometimes I think the teachers are a little leery about trying some of the new things. Teaching STEM in second grade started out for me to be a challenge because I felt like I had to make STEM challenges fit the core curriculum. The, the curriculum tends to compartmentalize things and, and for STEM you need to, to mash things together. Just the communication, working on speaking and listening to one another, those are core concepts that sometimes get passed over. So I teach first grade and usually people think that first grade is more kind of like basics of paper in hand and, and STEM doesn't come into play till later on, fourth grade and up. And I think that the sooner kids start learning STEM, the better. And I think we forget that, that even at this age, kids are not, they're not all the way developed. They need, they need that extra help. We received the brackets a while ago and we selected a first grade teacher and a fifth grade teacher to try the brackets with their students and the kids just went crazy over them. Brackets comes with a building kit that allows you to build structures but then it's got gears and pulleys and wheels and axles that kids can explore in using the, the product to solve problems in a variety of ways. Brackets is a great resource for students to be able to collaborate and um, talk out you know, their thinking to solve problems. I saw a lot of team building and problem solving is they had to communicate to be able to create what they were working toward or what they wanted to create. Brackets are unique. They're, they're, they're flexible. The kids love them because they can move them around where they can't, with, with other toys, it's very cut and dried. You've got to put this piece in here and it only goes this way in the brackets. They can move them around, they can put them at angles and things and that's for me, that was the thing that I was so fascinated about because I feel like you're not limited. And whatever your mind can, can visualize, you can do that with them. Other products just have like, one piece that only does one thing. And so brackets allows for their minds to go different places and to really stretch their thinking and their creativity. It kind of fuels your mind with ideas that you've never thought of before. You can just use your imagination. Your imagination just goes wild. They're designed for engineering. They, they allow students to creatively explore principles of engineering. The students enjoy being able to build without limitation. There's so many products that have a set um, design or set way to build, and Brackets is not like that. I could see Brackets used in some forms of history. I could build a castle with a moat. I can see that it, it, it's going to be a great math extension. I do see it being an extension with science and a way to help them in problem solving and even in coming up with some new ideas of, of inventing. I see using brackets in the classroom to introduce and reinforce the ideas of simple machines. I can see where, where building with the brackets will help in, in the spatial aspects of math. I just feel like the kids need more stuff like this. They need more hands-on. They need more time to play. I, f I feel like play is, is an extremely important part of learning, and I feel like it hasn't been valued like it, like it should be. Brackets is a great opportunity for students to learn that it's okay to try and fail and try again. Brackets has really helped kids be excited about their learning again. Instead of using papers and pencils now to solve problems, they get to actually use brackets to create and invent and redesign and go through some of those critical thinking and problem solving processes that they don't otherwise have. Brackets is just really unique. I haven't seen anything like them. Uh, there's, there's not a, a product out there, a system that was designed for our world in the way that this was. Mm -hmm.